Okay, in this video I'd like to talk for a few minutes about the two research papers that you're going to read as part of this protein modeling event. So there are two papers because they address two different aspects of, of this year's event. The first paper is one from Celia Schiffer's laboratory. Um, and it's about cytidine deaminase. It's about the protein that you're going to model as your pre-build model. Um, so it's a, and then the second one is a paper from David Liu's lab, and this describes base editing. So you're going to read these two different papers, very different papers, for, for two very different reasons. The first paper, the Schiffer paper describing cytidine deaminase, you're going to read because you're going to want to create something like this, a physical model of cytidine deaminase. Don't look too carefully at this one because your model of this is going to be much, much better than this one, which I quickly put together. But uh, that's the purpose of the first paper. The second paper is then to more understand why this cytidine deaminase was tethered to or added to the Cas9 protein to participate in this base editing application. So let me talk about the papers for just a minute. Many of you probably have never read an original research paper. So this is a, these are papers from the literature. Uh, and it can be really tough to read these papers uh, when you've never done it before. But don't be afraid of them. The first paper is, a, both papers are extremely well written. And we've highlighted them in various ways to make it easier for you to understand what parts you should read and really, really understand. And then also some, some whole paragraphs, whole sections that you really don't need to get into at all if you care, if you don't care to. Uh, these are so-called rabbit holes that if you start trying to understand everything they're talking about in some of these other paragraphs, you will very soon get uh, very confused and, and frustrated. So we've tried to indicate that in both papers by highlighting them. So as you open these papers and look at them on our website, you'll find that some sections are highlighted in yellow. Those are sections you should especially pay attention to. And then there are other areas which are sort of grayed out a little bit. Those are sections that you probably don't want to read. Uh, the unhighlighted sections are sort of sort of sentences, paragraphs that come somewhere between the very, very most important ones and the ones that you probably shouldn't read. So um, so pay attention to that highlighting. That'll give you a little bit of a, of, of a clue as to what you should pay attention to. Um, I don't know what I, what I should say about this paper. Um, except I've already said it comes from Celia Schiffer's lab. You can tell that because Celia Schiffer is the last name on this list of authors. Uh, so that's where the so-called principal investigator or the head of the lab, the group that's all the structure, uh, is from. Is, that's who that is. But the person who did most of the work will actually be the very first author. So that looks like that is Takahita Kuno. Um, and you should, you should look at these authors, these names, because you'll find that many of them are names that, that we have very much difficulty in pronouncing. So these are people who come from all over the world. Science is truly an international endeavor right now. And you see that very, very clearly in the authors of all of these papers that, uh, that you will be reading. Um, so Celia Schiffer is a structural biologist, and her group has purified the cytidine deaminase. They've crystallized it. They've then solved the structure of that crystal. <coughs> Once they have solved the structure and assigned XYZ coordinates to every atom in that structure, they then deposit <coughs> that information in the form of a protein data bank file in the protein data bank, which you'll be learning about. So that file in the PDB protein data bank is given the accession number 5KEG. So you'll learn how to go to the protein data bank, search for 5KEG, and you'll be able to download all of those numbers, that PDB file, 
onto your computer if you choose to do that. You actually don't have to do that. We're making it easier than that. This PDB file will already be loaded in the pre-visualization environment. So it's actually going to be right there when you go to our website and click on the pre-visualization environment. So you're going to have to learn how to use JMOL then to, to take that initial image that will come up in JMOL that will show every single atom in that structure. And you're going to want to simplify that to only the atoms that, only the alpha carbons, only the, only the alpha carbon of each amino acid. And then you're going to join those together with a backbone and that you'll be looking then at a backbone model an alpha carbon backbone model of cytidine deaminase. And then you'll take a tuber or some other similar material and you'll shape it into the exact shape of cytidine deaminase. All right, so have fun with the cytidine deaminase paper. This paper then from David Liu's lab. This, uh, we often refer here in the CVM to this as the classic David Liu paper. This is an extremely well-written paper. This was published in Nature in 2016. It isn't the first, but it's, it's one of the very first uh, reports of this base editing technique. Uh, and there are lots of yellow, yellow sentences here, as well as some, some more detailed material that you shouldn't worry about. Uh, I don't know, I'd like to read this to you because it's fascinating. Uh, but um, I don't want to ruin, ruin it for you, so I'm just going to let you explore this. But uh, if you're looking for a good piece of scientific writing, you've got one right here. So uh, have fun with the papers. If you have trouble with these papers, if there's something you don't understand, or if you're wondering if you need to know what, you know, that third paragraph, what the second page is, is talking about. That's when you go to the <coughs> Ask the CBM feature at the bottom of our website. Ask the question there, and we will try to answer that um, as quickly as we can. So don't be afraid of the papers. Um, have fun with them.